Yes, Sri Ramakrishna was very clear about this. What you call Brahman, I call Shakti. I call Kali. That, uh, from an Advaitic perspective, we will immediately say, yes, yes, Saguna Brahman. Saguna Brahman and Kali are one and the same. That's why when, when you say Kali, Durga, we don't say Maya, we say Mahamaya. Mahamaya means Saguna Brahman. Ishwara or Ishwari with all the glory and power. Um, so, just I'll say one thing. Often people say that in Advaita Vedanta we don't require God. We are bypassing God. Yeah. Our revered Swami Bhuteshanji, uh, um, Bhajananji Maharaj, he used to scold us Bra Brahmacharis. He said, you fools, Jnana is meant to be applied to yourself and Bhakti to Ishwara, to God. You fools, you are applying Jnana to God. Neti, neti. And Bhakti to yourself. When the dining hall bell rings, now happily going to eat. In classical Advaita Vedanta, there is no doubt, nobody will doubt this. Classical Advaita Vedanta is not only about Nirguna Brahman, Aham Brahmasmi Tattvamasi, but also about Saguna Brahman, Ishwara, Upasya Brahma, Genya Brahma, Upasya Brahma. Both are equally present in classical Advaita Vedanta. There, there is no question of bypassing God or denying God. That much I will say. Yes.